So now let's start converting what the program we wrote in the previous video to a more object-oriented program uh, using different classes. So at the end we want something like this. We want to be able to call the GPA calculator class, make an object from it, and just print out the result after calculation. So we want to call the say calculator calculate GPA. So we want to call that method on it and then it will take care of everything else. So this will be the uh, main main file and we will have a bunch of classes in the source. So let's get started. Now let's decide on the classes. If you look at the program that we wrote in the previous video, it makes sense to put this function or method in a different class and have all of the other parts to be handled in another class. So we will essentially we will have two classes. One class will calculate the GPA and the other class will be basically responsible for processing values. So let's do that. So I'm going to make a class called GPA calculator and another one for processing the grade for converting the values etc etc. So I'm going to call that grade processor. Let me just rename this GPA calculator to camel case format. Just let me get rid of this underscore. Just like that. So this is going to be called GPA calculator. The other one's going to be called grade processor. And let's see what we had in the previous program. I'm going to grab this method right here and put it in the processor class. And for the GPA calculator, I'm going to grab these methods. and put it in here. Now we need make to make some adjustments. The adjustments that we need to make is regarding the variables. So I'm going to copy these global variables for the GPA calculator and I'm going to put it in the constructor of GPA calculator. So let's do that. I'm not going to pass in parameters, we're just going to set some values here. The difference here is that these are not going to be global variables. There are going to be instance variables. So every time we see a dollar sign and something, that means that something is a global variable. So we need to change that to an instance variable by putting the at sign. So let me find all the instances. And let's replace that by the instance variable. Similarly for the other ones here. And I think that should be good. So now we just need to make another adjustment here where this method is called. In the previous program, it was assumed that this method or function was inside this program but now it's inside the other class so we need to make an instance of this class and then make the method call so let's do that so I'm gonna make a local variable to hold a reference to the grade processor object instance I'm just gonna call that grade processor and call the name of the class with dot new. So this will create an instance for us and now we can call the method on it. So the method is convert letter grade to number and what we need to pass in is the user input. Let's say the grade processor class and in the main file here let me just fix this name for the class this name 
has to be the same as this name here, the name of the class. So I'm not sure what's going to happen when I run this, but let's just run it for the first time and see what's going to happen. Okay, so here it doesn't know anything about calculate GPA method, so let's go and see what the problem is. So let's see what we have. This is the method. I think there is a misspelling problem. I've misspelled the calculate method here, so I think that was the only issue. So let's try that and see what happens again. Yeah, so that works fine. So that's how you can use uh, classes to write a program. The only issue here is that, I mean, there are many issues, but <laughs> the, this method here is a helper method. So we need to make it private. So at the very end of the class, I'm just going to make it private only for this particular class. So I'm just going to use the private keyword and make it private so that it won't be able to be called by other classes and only available to this class.